Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain the concept of latching in PLC. In order to understand the concept of latching, let us consider a typical example where I have a normally open contact connected to a load in this particular fashion. The type of load that I am using is a light load. So normally open contacts are contacts which acts as open circuit when it is not energized and once it is energized it acts as short circuit. Now let me energize this by pressing the push button switch. Consequently the open contact becomes energized and acts as short circuit. The rung gets energized and current starts flowing through the load and the light starts glowing in this particular fashion. Now if I release the push button switch, at some point of time I have to release the push button switch, isn't it, when I press it. So if I release the push button switch, consequently the coil gets de-energized and acts as open circuit. The current to the load is cut off and consequently the light does not glow. So what I want is whenever I am releasing the push button switch, the current should still continuously be flowing and the light should still continuously be glowing. How do we achieve that? That can be achieved by having a normally open contact connected in parallel in this particular fashion. So one important thing to note here is whatever address is used for the load, same address should be used for the normally open contact connected in parallel. So for uh, convenience, I have used both of the names as load. So it can be anything. So it can be address like I slash zero slash four in case of addresses in uh, SLC 500 uh, PLC and consequently for different types of PLC. So the same address should be used over here as well. So how is this helpful? Let us take a look. Now when I press the push button switch, what happens this coil gets energized the rung gets energized current starts flowing through the load the light starts glowing but what happens internally is since the address corresponding to the load becomes equal to one that is high because the light is flowing the same address is used here as well so this contact also gets energized so now if I release the push button switch consequently even if this contact becomes equal to open circuit the current still will be flowing through this path. So this concept is called as latching. I hope this point is clear. So now the light is glowing continuously. I have to stop it right even if I press and release the push button switch at some point of time the light should stop. So how do I stop that? So that can be stopped by having a normally closed contact connected in series with the circuit in this particular fashion. And these type of push button switches are actually called as stop push button switch. I'll tell you why. Now when I press this push button switch what happens? The coil that is normally closed contact which was initially closed gets de-energized and access open circuit and consequently Consequently, no current will be flowing through either of these paths because here when it is open circuit the current that flows through this path will stop here and consequently no current flows through this path as a result the light will stop glowing in this case now push button switch correspondingly is called a start push button if you carefully observe this was responsible for starting this entire process so whenever I start this consequently the current starts flowing and the light glows so this is how we will be able to analyze the concept of latching and uh, this is popularly used in a lot of industrial applications. So I hope you were able to understand the concept of latching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below. If you like this video, please do like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.